Now listen to the word on iHeartRadio. The Antonio Johnson Show is sponsored by Antonio Johnson on the word 100.7 FM. What's happening, baby? It's the one and only praise party every Saturday night. 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Antonio Johnson. Oh, right. Now, we're going to do it, though. Oh, yeah, it's bubbling. <laughs> you know what? You're just making me laugh when you say that. <laughs> it is bubbly. Jen, did you see the picture? I saw the picture. What you mean? It's bubbly. This music is brought to you by this shower. <laughs> Why Anthony. Why are you standing up? Standing up? I got to stand up now. It's time for, the, time for the discussion, which is brought to you by igotyou.net. I got you. You've been in a car wreck, car accident. Just go to I got you. Dot net. All right, time for the discussion. We always do it every Saturday night here on The Word 100.7. And y'all ready for the discussion? We're ready. All right, here it is. Here it is. The story, I got to, I got to, put, the, I got to put this right in front of me. You got to be right. Uh, All right, don't unplug the power source. Y'all know Bishop Larry Trotter. He's a, a, a mega pastor out of Chicago. All right. Well, he, he's been in the news over the last few days. He got a lot of flack. He said it's been a rough Rough, rough time for him because a little innocent something happened. Okay? okay. What innocent? Something innocent. He was in the tub with bubbles in it. Mr. Yeah. Bubbles. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> he was bubbling. <laughs> he, was, he was in the tub with Mr. Bubbles. And his baby, his granddaughter, we happened to be in there and she basically said, Oh, Dad, oh, how do you make bubbles? You know, he said, You know, so some kind of way. Poppy is what she called it. Oh, she called him Poppy. Uh-huh. So he jumped in. So she, That's he, not right. He ends up, she puts on some trunks and she gets in the tub with him and they end up, her mother ends up taking a picture and puts it on Instagram. So it looks like they're both in the tub with nothing on with bubbles all over them. I'm looking at the picture right now. And he's cheesing hard. He's like this. Yes. I'm with my grandbaby. <laughs> yeah, I'm with my grandbaby. Now, I'm going to say this. People are calling him everything. I mean, they are just harassing him pretty much saying, you should know better. That is just outright wrong for a grown man to be in the tub with a, with a four-year-old, uh, even if it is your grandbaby. That's what most people are saying. Okay? Now, I'm going to get my little two cents and y'all can get y'all's. I think... This was an innocent situation that was a misjudgment that he just wasn't aware would blow up the way it did. So he got caught in the moment. Oh, my grandbaby thought it was a good picture. People take pictures all the time, cute pictures, and you get caught up. You know what I mean? And it just happened. So when it went up, they realized it was a problem. They took it down. It was just too late. It, it went viral. And everybody was like, that's a pastor in the tub with a four-year-old. Something wrong with that picture. I just think, I mean, he looks like he's having fun. You know what I'm saying? Well, how do you not look like you're having fun? Huh? How I'm, do you not I'm, look What like I'm saying fun? is, it just seemed like, you know, the way he's smiling, it's that kind of smile like, like, this is going to be a cute picture. Let's oh, do okay, this. Okay, okay. He should have. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like. You know how you do when you get ready to take a cute picture? So, yeah, let's take this picture. Come on, smile. This is going to be cute. Yeah. He did not think about what right. people are saying. He just right. didn't. I mean, that's just real. Right. Allow me to interject your... Okay, go ahead. Okay. Let y'all have it. After I'm just going to say this. Yeah. I feel he just should have kept it as a family photo momentum. Mm-hmm. The wife took the picture, right? Uh, his, daughter, his daughter, the, 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 his daughter took the picture. And she's the one that put it out on Instagram. Who's yeah. to say he even, she even, he even knew that she some, was about some to Some stuff just out. needs to stay, you know, in house. Exactly. Yeah. So especially something like that, right. you don't know how people gonna receive that. Exactly. Yeah. Even though you're thinking it's innocent, my granddaughter, you know, I'm not thinking that much about it. But other people don't think like that because you got so much going on. Yeah. I, I just, I, I just, you know, on the level of. Perception, you just have to watch out for something yeah. like that. I mean, uh, you go, you just back in the day, they say when we were kids, we just take tub baths with everybody. Everybody was in the tub, your sister, your brother, everybody was just in the tub. Time. But this day and age, where people are talking about pedophiles yeah. and child molestation, it's just you don't want to give that perception that you're in the tub naked with a, with a, with a four year old. You just and it's don't. It's not so much that people talk about it, people are. 
yeah. pedophiles. People yeah. are child molesters. So what's going on? Grandfathers and fathers and uncles are these particular things. So mm -hmm. the fact that he's the grandfather don't change the fact of right. how mm -hmm. it appears. Sh should this hurt him as a pastor or should we just blow this over and say, you know what, you made a mistake, let's be done with it? Not right. necessarily hurt him, but wisdom should have kicked in. Yeah, it's a principal thing. That he should be mature enough to where wisdom would kick in and say, this is not something that I should do. Mm -hmm. Even taking the picture or putting her in mm -hmm. before the picture is taken, why should she be in the tub with you just because she wants to? I agree. Because yeah, I agree with that. When, yeah. you're, when you're in a position of authority and also you are a, 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 a visual focal point, then you want to be careful about what you do. You want right. to think through what you do. You know, you want to, you know, right. be she considerate. Right, yeah. said, you know, no, baby, this, this is not going to be right. Or, you know, no, we don't need to be taking any pictures. Right. Yeah. No, don't that do was that. a teachable moment. Yeah. No, yeah. baby, you're not supposed to be in the tub with Grandpa. Grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. That's not how it's supposed you. to be. You can, you can bathe with Mommy, but Let's you go. can't bathe with this Grandpa. This is different than being in right. the pool now. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not in the pool. You ain't in no pool. And other people I, will learn from it, and right. they will think before they do certain things mm -hmm. and blast certain things out for the world to see. Because now he has a lot of backlash that he's dealing with this, even if it, it is innocent. Yeah. I believe it's innocent. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's innocent. It's, it's, it's innocent. That it's that innocent. He didn't mean pool, anything by this. Understand that pool is public, tub is private. Yeah. It, even though it was innocent. He being a mega pastor, mm -hmm. knowing that people are trying to bring pastors down, mm -hmm. he should have just been, he should have just known. So I and that, that's my issue with it. If he wasn't a pastor, Still no. would it have been as viral? No, no it wouldn't have been as viral. No. no, if he wasn't a pastor, it wouldn't have been one to go. Because he was a pastor of a mega church in Chicago, this went viral. You know, there's a guy, he has a website called Obnoxious TV, and he's made it his goal to expose anything that, and he's the one that made that blow up, Obnoxious TV. He found it on Instagram, and he blew it out and all that, and that's when it, it got to rolling. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Bishop Larry Trotter basically said this bit, you know, people called him all kinds of names. You know, right. he said he's, it's, it hurt his heart. Yeah, I'm You know sure. what I'm saying? Because it was an innocent mistake. It really was. I believe it was. I believe it was. You know, should, 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 uh, should he... You know, have to apologize publicly to everybody. I think Absolutely. it would be best that he says, "You know what? Yeah. I made a mistake as a pastor, as a bishop. I should not have done that. I got caught in the moment. I made a mistake. I'm sorry." If he did that, it'd be cool. I wouldn't defend it. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't say I was innocent. I just say, "Hey, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done that." Okay. Well. This is not the first time. Charge according to, my to head, this, not my heart. this mm -hmm. is not the first time he had. A incident with his granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Um, not not necessarily that extreme, mm -hmm. but he nailed her to the cross. Oh, okay, that was well, for the, that was for the school for the kids. Exactly. Yeah, but but listen, yes. just on how it sounds and appears, mm -hmm. it's a cross here, and it's two men carrying it, and the granddaughter is pretty much. Nailed to the cross. Nailed to yeah. the cross. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it symbolizes. Yeah, it, it was about the kids, the, the kids, children being yeah. nailed to the cross wow. because the, the teachers were on strike in Chicago. That's what that was for. Right. That was innocent, too. Yeah. So it seems like this man has really been in the public eye um, mm -hmm. lately with, with things that are going yeah. on with him. Mm -hmm. So he definitely, given that, should have kept right. that picture. All right. Well, let me say this to anybody listening. Listen, I don't care who you are. Do not get in the tub with your four-year-old. Daughter, yeah, Trunks daughter. on anything. Don't do it. Yeah. It ain't it ain't a good look. It's not a good look. It's just, look. just not a good look. We'll be back. It's the Antonio Johnson show. All right, it's the Antonio Johnson show on the word 100.7. Let's go to the phone line. Somebody wants to actually make a comment. 1-800-949-5973. Chad, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, Antonio, man? I'm good. Hey, hey look, I'll tell you like this. Honestly, in reference to the Larry, Larry Charter situation, man, uh -huh. I really can't see any reason to call judgment to pass on this man. I really foresee it. Now, you said it was the mother that took the picture, right? Yeah, right. yeah. Even taking that psychologically, you know, psychologically, it was the mother that took the picture and put it on, 
or Instagram. Right. So that, that, that obviously, to me, speaks that this is obviously a very good father, apparently, and grandfather that really and truly loves his, his granddaughter, honestly. And I think there's so much negativity mm-hmm. towards the relationship, a natural, regular relationship. Mm-hmm. You, you say natural, but you say but you say natural regular relationship. But at the end of the day, man, no, you you can't make a four year old in a tub with a, with a grown man natural. That's just still not. And, that's not and natural. I, and I guess and I guess I can understand what that comes from in reference to you know let not your good be evil spoken up. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a loving father. I got two boys. I you know I kiss my babies. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When they ten, eleven, twelve, I'm probably still gonna kiss my babies because they mine. You know what I mean? Right. So. Right. I can understand how some people may say that, oh, you're kissing boys, they my babies. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so, But I'm, I'm going to help you out, though. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to make it real to you. Keep going up. You, you, you come home one day, you know what I'm saying, and... and, and, and your baby, your, your boy's in the tub with, with a grown man, and you walk in on it. Hmm. Hold on. Right. 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 I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's something totally different. I can understand that. Okay. Uh, Unidentifiable man versus daddy. You know what I'm saying? Well, your oh. father. Yo, he in the tub with your daddy. Your, your daddy now, in the tub now, with your now, son. Now, I understand there are boundaries. Now, I ain't going to be no grown man until my 12 year old son. Hot Absolutely. mess. I mean, you know, hot mess. Okay. Yeah. That can't go down. Okay. Right. There you go. All right. I just wanted to get because that's what when, when people, you got to understand. If when when I first saw the picture, if I didn't know him and I saw that picture, I would probably call nine one one. You know what I mean? You would be like, right. "Who does there this?" Was no history behind that. Yeah, if, if there was no history behind that picture, and you saw that picture, you would be disturbed. Yes. You just let's be real. There's no excuse. Yeah. yeah, right. You would. I just I I guess knowing the man, or at least knowing of the man, because I mean you really don't know a man, but knowing of the man is history and also the fact that it was his daughter I don't know if it was his daughter or daughter-in-law that took the picture mm-hmm. I can honestly say I don't, I don't necessarily think he should apologize that implies that he did something wrong that he had an intention of wrong I, I, I think he should apologize I'm just going to stand Bishop Larry Trotter should apologize he should, should do a press conference and he should come out and say look I messed up Right, right. Because he is a, the yeah. leader of yeah, the yeah, congregation. Yeah. I messed up. He, he I, has I, to take I, some I, I did not really understand the magnitude to what I what I'd done and, and I, I apologize. I messed up and that is something that should not have happened. It should not have happened. Period. Yeah, nip yeah, it right. in the bud. And nip it in the bud be done with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can see that. And I think it'll blow over. I don't right. really think it's gonna be anything substantial. It's just like, you know, the the Creflo dollar thing, it was something, you know, it's you know, it's it, it pass over. It's nothing yeah. that I don't think it's gonna have any oh, standing. Good. Okay. You know. All right. Hey, man, Chad, thanks, thanks for the call, man. Me on, man. Hey, man, thank you, you for... Meek Volume Max, too, man. All right. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks, thanks for listening, Chad. All right. Bye-bye. It's the Antonio Johnson Show. Let's get into the music. DJ Wiz on the ones and twos.